Hello my rubber hearts and welcome back for another haunting tale of when the humble rubber seal failed in catastrophic fashion. Today we are venturing into one of the darkest disasters of the modern era, the terrifying triple meltdown at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in 2011. While this nightmare scenario was initially triggered by a massive earthquake and towering tsunami, it was a degradation of rubber gaskets deep inside the plant's containment vessels that ultimately allowed radiation to escape in unprecedented amounts. So tighten your safety vests, my rubber hearts, as we recount how innocuous rubber rings meant to protect ended up compromised with horrific results. This is a case study in the criticality of material science. Even the simplest of rubber components can be vital lifelines when the worst case scenarios strike. Our story begins on March 11, 2011, when the most powerful earthquake ever recorded in Japan triggered a monumental tsunami that battered the north northeast coast, laying waste to entire cities. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, situated along the shorelines of the Fukushima prefecture, took a devastating double hit. First, the 9.0 magnitude earthquake violently shook the plant, knocking out its primary power grid and rendering the critical reactor cooling systems inoperable. While backup diesel generators kicked in temporarily, the 45-foot tsunami surge that followed overwhelmed the facility's protective seawalls and flooded the generator rooms, killing all power. With no way to actively cool the reactor cores, the stage was set for three of Fukushima's six reactors to experience total meltdowns over the following days. As the Nuclear Regulatory Commission would confirm, it was the worst nuclear incident since Chernobyl. But, unlike that disaster, Fukushima's containment struggled from a series of dangerous leaks. Every nuclear reactor has multiple physical barriers to prevent radiation release in an emergency. At Fukushima Daiichi, this included heavily reinforced steel and concrete primary containment vessels surrounding each reactor core, structures designed to contain incredible pressure and radioactive forces. But these PCV titans of safety had a critical vulnerability. The rubber gasket seals used at points where vessel sections connected. Under normal operating conditions, these rubber rings formed impermeable barriers, sealing the containment vessel's many segments into a radiation-proof safe room. However, when the plant's safety systems failed and the reactor cores overheated to staggering temperatures of over 5000 degrees Fahrenheit, these same rubber gaskets represented the weakest link. Their synthetic polymer simply could not withstand such extreme, unplanned for heat and began to degrade and crack apart. Within hours of the meltdown starting, technicians at Fukushima were reporting pressure levels dropping in the primary containment vessels of reactor units 1, 2 and 3, telltale signs that somewhere the seals had been compromised. Radiation alarms soon followed as radioactive steams and other materials began venting into the surrounding reactor buildings. Flooding in the basements, brought on by the unstoppable tsunami inundation, made accessing the reactor vessels nearly impossible. Makeshift repair attempts were futile against the ever-worsening meltdown conditions that the aging plants were never designed to endure. Over the following days and months, that uncontrolled escape of radiation from the failed rubber seals triggered emergency evacuations of over 150,000 residents across an 18-mile radius. Elevated radiation levels forced a mass exodus from surrounding towns and cities that remained abandoned for years. In the aftermath, investigations by the International Atomic Energy Agency and others identified the rubber gasket failures as critical shortcomings exacerbating the scale of this crisis. While decades-old guidance assumed these particular seals would hold up against temperatures over 700 Fahrenheit, the Fukushima meltdowns doubled that benchmark sevenfold. 
the event highlighted how nuclear plants must be able to handle potentially runaway disasters beyond their original design parameters. A worst case scenario, Fukushima's engineers failed to fully anticipate. Even minor materials like rubber gaskets must now be able to withstand virtually unimaginable conditions to prevent far-reaching radioactive catastrophes. In the wake of this nightmare, regulations have been overhauled across the nuclear industry. New reactor designs utilize more advanced sealing materials rated for higher heat extremes while existing plants have been ratified with supplemental safeguards against total containment failure. And so, my rubber hearts, we have witnessed how the simple rubber gasket that most ubiquitous and seemingly benign of polymer creations ended up an unwitting harbinger of atomic chaos along the shores of Fukushima while human operating errors and inadequate safety planning were the initial culprits, rubber's heat limitations allowed the radiation to spread once containment was breached. Nearly a decade later, those rubber seals have come to symbolize the importance of rigorous materials testing and burnout planning in high-risk engineering environments. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I will see you on the next episode for another rubber adventure.